boys. Travis Fryman, Anthony Young. Is this an Anthony Young rookie card? It might be. Anthony Young, if you collect um, the opposite of Hall of Famers, you might be collecting Anthony Young. Went through a streak of losing, I forget what the number was, some astronomical number of losses in a row. Cecil Fielder, monster home run guy. His career was short. He might have been a Hall of Famer if he could have put in a few more years. All right, that's three quarters of a box. We're up to three inserts, one of the All-Stars and two of the Roger Clemens. And we're up to five Provisions, which uh, we've doubled up on the Dave Justice, so... We have Gerald Perry, Pascal, Henry Fletcher, Plunk, Hal Morris, Juan Bale, Juan Dunstan. It's a big time prospect, Todd Van Poppel. That might have commanded a few bucks at one time. Scooter Mel Rojas. So what haven't we seen yet? I don't think we've seen a Nolan Ryan. Or have we? I think we have seen a Nolan Ryan. I'm not sure. I don't think we've seen a regular base Roger Clemens. Frank Tanana. Howard Johnson. Seem to be kind of on a dry spell. Kevin Apier. Jim Tomei. We haven't seen Jim Tomei yet. Hall of Famer. Carlton Fisk. Haven't seen a Carlton Fisk yet. Gary Carter. Another catcher. And then we have this Cowardiff and Joe Carter combo. Willie Banks and Jack Morris. I haven't seen Jack Morris yet either. And right now, I can't remember if he's in the Hall of Fame or not. I know Y11 is. Am I confusing Y11 and Morris? I just can't remember right now. I can't remember. I'm thinking really hard. can't remember. Typically, I'm good at remembering the Hall of Famers that were voted in, you know, early on. And if Jack Morris is in, I think he... Went through with the committee. It wasn't voted in. Was it a Quindo? Ricky Henderson. Haven't seen a Ricky Henderson yet. So there should be a base of him floating around. Juan Guzman was a big, big guy there for a little while. Herod Baines, Hall of Famer. Greg Vaughn. Had some pretty good years. Charles Nagy, John Burkett, Danny Tartable, Darren Dalton, Scott Erickson, league leader, American League winningest pitcher, Jarvis Brown, Vince Coleman. James, you are wreaking havoc, buddy. If it looks like I'm shaking around, it's because James is literally on top of me. This is just kind of what he does. Watching these nursery vines. Looks like we have a Kirby Puckett here on the back. I think we have a black card in here. Let's hope for another all-star. Bosky. Dave Henderson. Bass or Bass. Telford. This is Greg Maddox. How could I forget Greg Maddox? And it's another Roger Clemens card, I'm pretty sure. Another Roger Clemens card. George Bell. Kevin Moss. How'd he do in 91? Not bad. 148 games. 
23 home runs with a whopping 128 strikeouts, which I guess isn't that bad compared to what the guys are doing now. If you're not getting 200 strikeouts and you're not really trying to hit home runs, Chuck Finley, another Goose Gossage, and a Kirby Puckett. Let's sleeve up our third Rick Roger Clemens card. So far, all three Roger Clemens cards have been in his away uniform, which is kind of odd. Why I noticed that, I don't know. Yep, all three in the away uniform. All right, we're down to four packs. I mean, if these all-star cards are literally one per box, it seemed like they'd be somewhat more valuable. I think there's quite a bit, um, quite a bit different, different all-star cards. Like it's not numbered out of 10 or anything like that. Out of 24, there's 24 all-star cards. Dale Swum, Swum. McClendon, Bo Jackson, one of his first White Sox cards. And he'd actually had 23 games with the White Sox at this point with three home runs, 25 strikeouts, and 23 games. Earl Hershiser. Here's two Hall of Famers, Kirby Puckett and Barry Larkin, Power Packs. It's a weird combination of those two. Pat Rice. Gene Larkin, Jim Abbott, Xavier Hernandez, Tommy Green, Redfield, Kamenecki, Benito, Ellis Burks, Bill Doran, Dave Johnson. I wonder how many provisions there are. I want more provisions. Let's finish off this provision set. So that's 711, 713. Eight, twelve. So, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's at least six of them, at least. So I don't think we're I don't think we're doing this set tonight. I think ninety one provisions had nine total cards, I believe. Down to three packs. Saberhagen, Dale Murphy, Tom Glavin, League Leaders, Hall of Famer, Wayne Kirby, Prospect, Matt Leiter, Frank Viola, Van Elster, Tad Power, John Orton, Mike Boddicker, Ruben Sierra, he's a pretty good player for a while. Batting 307 on the back end here, 25 home runs, 162 RBIs. Sean Hillegas, Andres Galarraga. Not too many good years here. He had some good years with the Expos, not this particular year. Looks like he might have been injured, about a 219. Dip Roberts, down to two. Come on, we need, we need. At least another all-star card and another provision. We'll pass on the I'll pass on the Roger Clemens card, but if we get an extra one, you know, I won't complain. Wally Joyner. Hadn't seen him yet. Scott Erickson, Todd Zeal. Here's our Nolan Ryan record setter for his seventh no hitter. Derek Bell, he was good for a while. Mo Martinez. Charlie O'Brien, Chris Hoyles, and Joel Skinner down to one pack. So we need an insert here.
So, of course, after this video, I'm going to go online and see what the odds are, if there, if there are any odds on anything's even listed. More out of curiosity than anything. These odds seem kind of odd, though. Odds seem odd. John Candelaria. We got Fred McGriff. I'm kind of surprised he's not in the Hall of Fame yet. I think he will be. He was a pretty good first baseman for a good chunk of years. Chris Sabo. I think he was, I think he's nine home runs from 500. I think. Steve Decker. David Segu. We're not getting anything else here. Tony Lansford, Mike Fitzgerald, Mike Harkey, Jose Rijo. All right, so here's our stack of Hall of Famers, which is a lot. There's a lot of Hall of Famers in in the Hall of Fame. So I'm going to separate these from what I put in my binders and what I don't. So Nolan Ryan, Tom Glavin, Sherby Puckett. Goose Gossage does not make the cut. Kirby Puckett. Greg Maddox. Harold Baines does not make the cut. Ricky Henderson. If Jack Morris is in, he does not make the cut. Cal Rifkin all day, every day. Uh, Gary Carter, I'm sorry. Carlton Fisk, I'm sorry. Jim Tomei. Robin Yount. Tony Gwynn. Mark McGuire, even though he's not a Hall of Famer. Ozzie Smith. Frank Thomas. Tom Glavin, Dave Winfield, Roger Clemens. We did get a Roger Clemens base. Cal Rifkin, Jeff Bagwell. Looks like James got bored of me talking and ran away. Roberto Alomar, Randy Johnson, Gossage, Frank Thomas, of course. Sammy Sosa, yes, with hesitation. Barry Larkin in, Griffey, yes. Dave Justice. Did not make the Hall of Fame, but he did make a nice cool insert there. Tony Gwynn, George Brett, Paul Molitor, Roberto Alomar. Larry Walker did not make the cut. Dave Winfield did, though. Eddie Murray did, but Tim Range did not. Ryan Sandberg, Wade Boggs. Nolan Ryan, Dennis Eck did not make the cut. Dawson did not, but Biggio did. So it's kind of weird how I, I do my uh, Hall of Famers and my binders. Um, if you got voted in within the first five years, typically you're in. Um, it kind of depends if there's a lot of steroids. I, I ignored steroids altogether. So Sosa's in, McGuire's in. Palmiero is in, even though it kind of hurts to say that. So, and the reason I do that too is I don't want my binders to get full really fast. So this is all just from 92 Fleer. This is how much I, you know, have taken out from the actual Hall of Fame list. So it's not a whole lot, but it kind of keeps my binders a little bit more clear. And, uh, so that was all our base. And, of course, we got all our provisions here. We ended up getting five total. We ended up duplicates on the Day of Justice. So, if I could pick up more of these, there's a binder I'm working on that's for, like, fun stuff. And, uh, that's definitely, this would definitely go in it. Like, nice-looking inserts, stuff like that. And then... All our black, black bordered cards, which ended up being mostly Roger Clemens because of his insert set. So technically, only four inserts in the box. That's, what is that? Four, four inserts in the box, uh, one in eight packs. With three of those being the Roger Clemens inserts, which I know the Roger Clemens don't command anything. Um, the very Larkin looks really cool. This is definitely, like, other than the Pro Visions, it is a really nice looking card with that black and gold. It's not been touched up yet by all the kids. It's not been dinged up yet. So, and there's 24 of them. I think it'd be cool to at least put together nine of the best ones, throw it in a, in a binder, in one sleeve, nine page sleeve. I mean, you gotta think there's a Coward Ifkin one. Uh, I don't know who else would have been All Stars in 91. I'm sure there's still there's some good ones. I have to check out the checklist. So that's it for this break uh, for Throwback Thursday. Not as exciting as I was hoping it was going to be, but the Pro Visions are fun. And um, wish I'd have gotten more All Star cards. Maybe I have to hunt, hunt some of those down. They look really good when they're not. I know I've had a few of these as a kid, and they just seem to be really dinged up. And you know how black border cards are. Once they're dinged up, they start to look horrible. 
so that's it uh um if you're interested in anything let me know um that is it uh thanks for watching